Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be getting into a 3D Chrome text for free in Final Cut Pro. And I also have a little secret for you guys, so I hope you guys stay to the end for that. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so we are going to go to the titles right here, and we're gonna go to 3D, and we're gonna go to Rotate 3D, but you can choose any one that you want. I'm gonna go to Rotate 3D, because I like that animation. So as we click over and we see it animating, this is what we're gonna be working with. And what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna go to the inspector tab for the text inspector, and we're gonna change the font. The link will be in the description for you to download. And it's called Yay Old Oak, something like that. So what we're going to do here is we are going to scroll down and first we're going to adjust the depth of the 3D text. So we're going to bring it up to about 30. As you can see, it's getting thicker and you can see it as we can rotate it right here and after we do that we're gonna go to the front edge and we are going to make that concave after we do that we're gonna go down to the material right here and there's a lot of different types of materials that you can choose from but for this effect um, we are going to use the paint because this is the one that looks best with the chrome effect I'm gonna go to car paint after we do that we are going to go down to this options button right here and we're gonna click this arrow right here and we're gonna go to random speed and we're just gonna click this uh, it looks like a rotation arrow going both ways. We're just gonna click that until some numbers come up. And after we do that, we are going to go to the paint. So this paint right here, there's all different tabs that you can pull up and just see the adjustments. But just for this tutorial, I'm gonna save you guys some time. So we're gonna go to the paint right here and we're gonna make this black. We're gonna make that black. Actually close this tab up. And we're gonna go to the substance tab now. And we're going to change this substance color to white. We're gonna change that to white. And we can turn on the glow actually for this. Let's go back to the rotation so we can see everything. Okay, it looks pretty good so far. Now we're gonna go to our environment. And we are going to click on self shadows and that'll be under lighting. And we're gonna go to environment and we're gonna go to type and these are the different types of environments that you can change it to we have colorful we have light box but today we're gonna to go to parking lot and you see how that gives that a little bit of glow that just appeared here and what we're gonna do here now is gonna we're gonna boost the intensity up we can go to 156 percent Give that a brighter look. And now let's play this back. Let's see how this looks so far. It looks pretty good so far. Let's stretch this out a bit. Nice. 
nice. That looks good. But since you guys stuck with me this far in the video, I am going to give you a secret effect that will make this look even better. So what we're going to do here is we are going to go to our B3 Studios plugins. And this link is in the description. This is one of my favorite uh, plugins right here. And this is the glint light effect. And this is going to change this whole text. So we're going to click it and we're going to drag it onto the text. Give it a minute to load. And we're going to play this back and see how that affected our Chrome text. Now it's really shiny and glowing. See the glint light effect, it just makes everything more dramatic and glowy and shiny, as you can see. And that is an awesome Chrome text in Final Cut Pro. You can actually change this to Chrome. And yeah, that looks awesome. So I really appreciate you guys tuning into the video. If this video helps you out in any way, consider liking and consider subscribing because we will be coming out with a lot of content soon. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be sure to see you guys next time. Thank you.